Ruth Katrina Martha Fa died August 10 after dedicating more than half a century to working to eradicate leprosy, tuberculosis, and other diseases in Pakistan. She was 87. In a statement released on her death, Pakistani Prime Minister Shahid Kakan Abbasi praised Pfeo for her selfless and unmatched services for the eradication of leprosy in his country and that through her years of service, Fa proved that humanity knows no boundaries. She is the first person in Pakistan's history of the Christian faith to have a state funeral, said Cecil S. Shodri, executive director of the National Commission for Justice and Peace. 21 Gun Salute Her Funeral is scheduled to take place at Karachi St. Patrick's Cathedral on Saturday morning. The Pakistani military is expected to accompany her funeral cortege and there will also be a 21 Gun Salute in her honor. To commemorate her death, the national flag of Pakistan will also fly at half-staff across the country. Fa arrived in Karachi in 1960 en route to India and volunteered at a local leprosy colony. While she was there, she became depressed at the state of the care given to patients whose hands and feet she said had become nutritional supplement for the rats, according to the Marie Adelaide Leprosy Center's MALC website. Fa decided to stay in Pakistan as a health care worker and her efforts in organizing a proper hospital building for the colony resulted in the creation of the first Marie Adelaide Leprosy Center in Karachi. Thanks to the work of Fa and her center, in 1996, Pakistan was able to bring leprosy under control, one of the first Asian countries to do so. Her organization now runs 157 leprosy control centers with more than 800 staff members, according to MALC. Foreign lady on a donkey born in Leipzig, Germany, in 1929, Fa had seen firsthand the devastation wrought by World War II. She attributed her desire to become a doctor and a healer to this experience. Inish Azad, a member of the MALC Board of Trustees who worked with FA for 25 years, told News Total that she was one of the most inspirational people she had ever met. Shazad said FA was undeterred in her quest to help the underprivileged and that she would go to the remotest parts of Pakistan to help, a foreign lady heading on donkey back to places even cars couldn't reach. That dedication to heal brought Fa honors from all over the world, including from Pakistan, her adopted homeland. In 1989, she was presented the Hilalai Pakistan, the country's second highest civilian award.